Welcome, welcome to my simple full face tutorial. I do talk pretty fast, so let's get right into it. You're going to start with the brows. Here I am trying to be a beauty influencer. Bye. Okay. We're going to do an angled brush. We're going right into the brow with a powder. Um, you're going to start at your arch, and then you're going to go in the middle and try to blend that through with a spoolie. Um, yeah, she's brushing, brushing, brushing. That should be our favorite part. Now we're moving on to concealer. You're going to take a concealer or foundation that's lighter than your skin tone and you're going to line up that arch okay you are going to carve it out carve it like a steak carve it like a haircut carve it however you want to carve it do that both sides you want to line that up in the middle um what i'm using is a flat brush and i'm using makeup revolutions foundation and concealer um combination so when you go on the top of your brow you're going to want to use a shade that is more a lot closer to your skin tone so this one i use a little bit um it's a tone uh deeper so we're going in the middle with that and then now i am putting one in the middle just for luck um and we're going to blend 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 i like a good fluffy brush to blend um and then we're taking that down on our lid as well you do not want powder right now we are not using powder until later so now you want to take a bronzer and mind you i'm trying to do this in mind keeping like what everybody has in their makeup kit at home so now i'm going to take a bronzer and i'm just carving out my outer lid so because my eyes are hooded i like to take my eyeshadow out a little bit farther just to open up my uh, my eye shape and really get into it so now i'm putting it in the crease just to give my eyes a little bit more depth and really create that wing shape that i'm looking for now i'm going to take this bone color and i'm going to put it on the inner part of my lid again just to open it up make my eyes look nice and sultry nice and sexy you know okay so now i'm taking my concealer um, just because we don't want to look like an old lady, we're putting it in my T-zone and under my dark circles. Um, again, in the middle for luck. And we are going to blend, blend, blend until she's nice and smooth. And you really don't want to see those splotchy, you know, nasty marks. When you're blending, you want to make sure you keep in mind where the light is going to hit. Especially if you're going to be on camera. So now we're going to go into our dark spots where we want to contour and that is where we want our shadows to hit that's where you're really going to get that chiseled you know snatched beautiful contoured look that everybody's going for now you bring out that air spun now it's okay to use the air spun if i had used the air spun beforehand on my eyelids it would have been patchy and nasty just caca so now we're going to take our highlight and finish out our cheekbones again this is a simple look that everybody can do at home if you don't have highlight use a gold eyeshadow now we are going to line our lips and usually the the best lip color for you is the color of your areola your nipple so i mean don't whip it out in sephora or anything but take a mental picture before you go in next time again you guys this was meant to be something quick and easy that everybody can do um especially if you you know you don't got a lot of time so here's the glam shots baby i know you see that you see the glow you see the gloss the liner on point it took me like you know 20 minutes thank you to everybody who stayed tuned for the entire look i really hope you can take any of these little tips and help you you know in your daily makeup routine or if you just want to have fun girl you know dabbing it Go crazy.